With rookie and mandatory minicamp sessions in the books, the focus for all 32 NFL teams now shifts over to training camps in mid-July. You find the Jets at 11. You have to go all in, and by that I mean all in means getting to a Super Bowl. Before we know it, preseason's gonna be here. So let's not waste any time and get right into our 2024 pre-training camp edition of the 2024 NFL Power Rankings. Number 32, Carolina Panthers. Last time's ranking, 32. The Panthers made a notable free agent signing following the NFL draft, picking up running back Rashad Penny on a one-year deal. So Carolina's backfield now consists of Chubba Hubbard, Miles Sanders, rookie Jonathan Brooks, and Penny. Well, that's one of the more intriguing offseason position battles to follow. Number 31, Denver Broncos. Last time's ranking, 31. With the Broncos entering a rebuilding phase, the only notable positional battle here is the QB room. Will Sean Payton go with rookie Bo Nix, veteran Jared Stidham, or ex-New York Jet Zach Wilson. We're also keeping our eyes on potential trades involving all-pro cornerback Patrick Sertan II and wide receiver Cortland Sutton. Number 30, New England Patriots. Last time's ranking, 29. Like the Broncos, expectations are awfully low for a rebuilding Patriots team as they now enter year one of the post-Belichick era. The most enticing training camp battle is going to be quarterback. A two-way race between veteran Jacoby Brissett and third overall pick Drake May. Between Kendrick Bourne, Demario Douglas, Jalen Polk, Juju Smith-Schuster, and KJ Osborne, it'll also be interesting to see who wins out the jobs for the number one, two, and three receivers. Number 29, Tennessee Titans. Last time's ranking, 30. The Titans made another big signing after the draft, bringing in ex-Cincinnati Bengals star Tyler Boyd. That now gives Will Levis three capable 1,000-yard receivers in Boyd, DeAndre Hopkins, and Calvin Ridley. But we still don't know what the Titans have in Levis. The O-line is still a big question mark with a rookie J.C. Latham at left tackle, and there's still not much to like about the depth on defense after Legereus Need, Jeffrey Simmons, and Harold Landry. Number 28, New York Giants. Last time's ranking, 28. Daniel Jones is the week one starting quarterback, but you gotta think that the sixth year pro will be on a short leash this time around. There is not much reason for optimism in Giants land this year. But such is life when you give one of the league's worst starting QBs a sixth year to prove himself. Not to mention that they lost their offensive MVP in Saquon Barkley. Oh well, at least Malik Neighbors will be worth watching, and the Giants should be in a good position to draft a top QB prospect next year. Number 27, Washington Commanders. Last time's ranking, 26. Barring any surprises, number two overall pick Jane Daniels will be the man behind center when Washington opens its 2024 season against the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Like the team below them here, the playoffs are a mega long shot for Washington. All fans need to see is a sign that Daniels will be the real deal and that they got it right with Dan Quinn as their new head coach. Number 26, Arizona Cardinals. Last time's ranking, 27. No significant position battles to really follow here. For Arizona, a successful year comes down to Kyler Murray staying healthy and reminding the front office that he is the answer at quarterback. That'll be a lot easier with can't miss rookie wide receiver Marvin Harrison Jr. stepping in as Murray's new favorite target. The Redbirds may not be playoff contenders in 2024, but Murray and Harrison Jr. will make them worth watching. Number 25, Minnesota Vikings. Last time's ranking, 23. The Vikings dropped two spots because Kevin O'Connell recently said that Sam Darnold has the inside track on the starting job. The Vikings have to do what they think is right for J.J. McCarthy's development, but it's hard to be excited about this team if Darnold is going to be the starting QB. On the bright side, getting a $140 million extension done with Justin Jefferson was a mega win. So, hey, at least there's that. Number 24, Las Vegas Raiders. Last time's ranking, 25. Sophomore Aiden O'Connell and free agent signing Gardner Minshew II are duking it out for the Raiders' QB1 job. The winner will have the fortune of throwing to Devontae Adams, Jacoby Myers, and prized rookie tight end Brock Bowers. The vibe seems a lot better in Sin City, with Antonio Pierce getting the head gig after his stellar performance as the interim head coach last season. But if the Raiders are to surprise this year, they'll need above-average QB play from O'Connell or Minshew to complement the receivers in Max Crosby-led defense. Number 23, Seattle Seahawks. Last time's ranking, 24. The Seahawks are relying on big steps forward from youngsters Jackson Smith and Jigba, Charles Cross, Boye Mafe, and Devin Witherspoon. And of course, it wouldn't hurt if Geno Smith could just return to his star-like form from 2022. The Seahawks are in a transition year with new head coach Mike McDonald, but if the young guns can take the next step, Seattle could surprise as a wildcard team like they did two years ago. Number 22, New Orleans Saints. Last time's ranking, 
Ring 21. The Saints are mostly running back with the same group as last year, plus Chase Young and rookie Talisa Fuaga. New Orleans won't make any noise in the NFC South if Derek Carr doesn't have a bounce back year. The defense is still elite, and there is enough weaponry for Carr to succeed. It's just hard to know what you'll get from a 33-year-old QB whose play has been up and down. Number 21, Los Angeles Chargers. Last time's ranking, 22. Ex-Baltimore Ravens running back Gus Edwards and J.K. Dobbins are now duking it out for Jim Harbaugh's RB1 position. At wideout, 2023 first-round pick Quinton Johnston and rookie Lad McConkey will compete with Josh Palmer for the WR1 role. It is imperative that at least one of those guys steps up for Justin Herbert if the Bolts are to hang around in the playoff race this year. Number 20, Indianapolis Colts. Last time's ranking, 20. Second-year QB Anthony Richardson says that he's nearly back to 100% health following season-ending shoulder surgery, a promising piece of news for Colts fans. With Michael Pittman Jr. getting his contract extension, the mood seems very good in Indy right now. Number 19, Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Last time's ranking, 18. The Bucs bolstered their wide receiver depth by signing ex-giant Sterling Shepard to a two-year deal. The Bucs are also giving 2022 fifth-rounder Zion McCollum the chance to start alongside Jamal Dean following the Carlton Davis trade. Another notable change is at center, where rookie Graham Barton slots in to replace the retired Ryan Jensen. Number 18, Chicago Bears. Last time's ranking, 17. The Bears don't have any significant positional battles to speak of. All eyes are on rookie quarterback and 2024 first overall pick Caleb Williams. Who's going to have every chance to succeed with Romo Dunze, DJ Moore, Keenan Allen, and DeAndre Swift as his main weapons? Their success, or lack thereof in 2024, comes down to how the rookie plays. Number 17, Los Angeles Rams. Last time's ranking, 19. Matthew Stafford's bounce back season from 2023 it means that there is no quarterback competition this year. The Rams practically have the same offensive unit, but several new faces on defense, namely rookie Jared Verse and veterans Tredavious White, Cameron Curl, and old friend Darius Williams. And if 2023 rookie stalwarts Puka Nakua, Byron Young, and Kobe Turner prove that last year wasn't beginner's luck, well, these Rams could return to Super Bowl contention in 2024. Number 16, Jacksonville Jaguars. Last time's ranking, 15. Veterans Ronald Darby and Darnell Savage are vying for a starting cornerback job to help Tyson Campbell. The other intriguing battle is the number two pass catcher behind Christian Kirk. Will it be rookie Brian Thomas Jr., Gabe Davis, or Revan Ingram? Who in the presence of Travis Etienne Jr., and there are no excuses for Trevor Lawrence to not bounce back from a very mediocre 2023 season. Number 15, Atlanta Falcons. Last time's ranking, 16. All eyes are on quarterback Kirk Cousins, who was handed a $180 million deal, including $100 million of it being guaranteed to end this team's misery behind center. With a soft schedule and the luxury of playing in football's worst division, the Falcons have to make the playoffs if 2024 is to be a success. Surely that won't be a problem with all that offensive firepower, right? Number 14, Pittsburgh Steelers. Last time's ranking, 13. Russell Wilson is the starting QB. That much is clear. The real question, though, is if the Steelers have a blockbuster trade up their sleeves. They've been linked to star wideouts Brandon Ayuk, Debo Samuel, and DK Metcalf. Can GM Omar Khan pull a move off before week one? Heck, it would go a long way in closing the gap with the other AFC heavyweights. Number 13, Miami Dolphins. Last time's ranking, 14. With Robert Hunt leaving for Carolina in free agency, the Dolphins are going to see if 25-year-old Robert Jones can emerge as a starting caliber guard. They also signed expatriate Asaya Wynn to fill the other vacancy at guard, so keep an eye on the interior O-line during training camp and preseason. Number 12, Buffalo Bills. Last time's ranking, 12. The Bills have made some notable signings post-draft, including two-time Super Bowl champion and deep threat Marquez Valdez-Scantling, ex-dealer Chase Claypool, and former buck safety D. Delaney. Gone are Stephon Diggs and Gabe Davis. Can Josh Allen make it work with MVS, rookie Keon Coleman, and veteran newcomer Curtis Samuel? That's the million dollar question in Orchard Park. Number 11, New York Jets. Last time's ranking, 11. Only the Jets would make unnecessary headlines. Aaron Rodgers and Hassan Reddick were both absent from mandatory minicamp, though head coach Robert Sala stressed that Rodgers' absence isn't a concern. If the Jets get back to focusing on football, they look like the team to beat in the AFC East. Rodgers will change everything offensively, and the defense won't have to carry a giant boulder again if the offense is actually moving the ball. Number 10, Dallas Cowboys. Last time's ranking, 9. It's been five months since Jerry Jones made the all-in comments, and well, here we are in June, still waiting for Dallas to make their first big splash in trade or free agency. It's also odd that Jones has yet to extend all three of Dak Prescott, CeeDee Lamb, and Micah Parsons. 
Well, at any rate, the Cowboys still have enough star power and depth on defense to win double-digit games and to make the playoffs. It's just hard to imagine 2024 being the year they finally break through in the postseason, especially since Jones isn't actually all in. Number 9. Green Bay Packers Last time's ranking, 10. The Packers are coming off a surprise 9-win season and trip to the divisional round, and yet this young group hasn't hit its full ceiling yet. Jordan Love is only going to improve after a breakout 2023 year. Romeo Dubs, Christian Watson, and Jaden Reed stand to be even better too. And Josh Jacobs leading that backfield? Oh, sign us up. Number 8. Cleveland Browns Last time's ranking, 7. A possible extension for star wide receiver Amari Cooper bears watching. The last thing Cleveland needs is a holdout or trade demand from their best pass catcher. But most eyes here are on Deshaun Watson. If he's not going to put it together in year 3 as their starting QB, the Browns may have to think about a future without the $230 million man. I mean, we saw this offense perform well with Joe Flacco of all guys last year. Number 7. Houston Texans Last time's ranking, 6. The Texans look poised to make the jump to AFC heavyweight in 2024 following a near-perfect offseason from GM Nick Casario. Veterans Stefan Diggs, Joe Mixon, Daniil Hunter, and Danico Autry join a star-studded young core led by CJ Stroud, Nico Collins, Stink Dell, Will Anderson Jr., and Derek Stingley Jr. The time is now for this franchise to reach the AFC title game for the first time in franchise history. Number 6. Cincinnati Bengals Last time's ranking, 8. The good news for Cincy is that T. Higgins and Trey Hendrickson seem fine playing under their current contracts despite previously requesting trades. The Bengals don't have the deepest roster on paper, but as we keep saying, they've gone to one Super Bowl and two AFC Championships with a healthy Joe Burrow. So if he is healthy, the Bengals are a legitimate threat for the Lombardi Trophy. Number 5. Baltimore Ravens Last time's ranking, 5. With John Simpson, Morgan Moses, and Kevin Zeitler all leaving, the Ravens are in the midst of a massive offensive line overhaul, so pressure immediately falls on rookie Roger Rosengarten and 2023 7th rounder Andrew Voorhees to fill those voids. Number 4. Philadelphia Eagles Last time's ranking, 4. All eyes are on Cam Jurgens, who now attempts to fill the shoes left behind by all-time great Jason Kelsey. With Devontae Smith and AJ Brown signing well-deserved extensions in April, things are certainly going well in Philly. Let's see how they respond to last year's humiliating late-season collapse. Number 3. Detroit Lions Last time's ranking, 3. Less than a month after giving Amon Ross St. Brown and Panay Sewell lucrative extensions, the Lions also locked up quarterback Jared Goff on a mammoth $212 million extension over four years. So it's been a great offseason for the Lions, who shored up their secondary with the Carlton Davis trade and the first round pick of Terry and Arnold. It's officially Super Bowl or bust territory for Dan Campbell's squad. Number 2. San Francisco 49ers Last time's ranking, 2. As trade rumors on Brandon Ayuk and Debo Samuel ramp up, the 49ers took care of another franchise pillar in Christian McCaffrey, who signed a two-year extension that keeps him under contract through 2027. Another tidy piece of work by GM John Lynch, but the sooner the reigning NFC champs figure out their situations with Samuel and Ayuk, the better. Number 1. Kansas City Chiefs Last time's ranking, 1. We still can't believe how the Chiefs added both Marquise Hollywood Brown and Xavier Worthy. Their receiving core was a problem last year. Now it's going to be football's best. Just how are you going to stop the team aiming for a three-peat? Once again, Kansas City is the team to beat. But hey, what changes would you make to our pre-training camp power rankings? Let us know in the comment section below. If you liked this video and learned a thing or two, clicking the like button helps out a ton. But hey, we appreciate it. If this is your first time coming around to TPS though, well, subscribing is a great idea because we put out videos like this every single day. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.